you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times? Well, apparently, honeybees are just disappearing all over the country. Tens of millions of them. All right, let's hear some theories about why this might be happening. Nobody? You're not interested in what happened to the bees? all the teachers the administration makes us teach with a foot of snow on the ground what is this there appears to be an event happening homeland security and the cdc has reported attacks boston philadelphia maryland white house officials claims the cia has a defense against chemical weapons i don't know she says everyone's dead outside. What's going on? We lost contact. With whom? Everyone. The government's testing something there that went wrong. The affected area now includes California. Authorities are not feeling, by the sheer numbers of attacks, that a terrorist group being responsible for less and less likely. Science will come up with some reason to put in the books. But in the end, it'll be just a theory. We will fail to acknowledge that there are forces at work beyond our understanding. Part of yourself that you don't show anybody when I'm inside I get to see those things I feel them these girls were kidnapped tortured and murdered our killer is a white male about 30 years old Carl Rudolph Starger was had the house under surveillance for about 20 minutes. He keeps them in this thing for about 40 hours. Clear. And after 40 hours, the water starts. And it doesn't stop. There is a girl that is missing. Her name is Julia Hickson. He is the only one that knows where she is. If he was conscious, do you think that he would tell you where she is? Are you sure? I'm sure. You bring in this monster, and you're asking her to go into that mine. She's made contact. She's lost. She thinks this is real. I'm going in to get her. Katie, she thinks there's something in the house. I don't know. You believe me, right? I think we're gonna have a very interesting time capturing whatever paranormal phenomena is occurring or is not occurring. Windows are locked, doors are locked, alarm is on. Hearing a weird sound. Something's here. I 
feel it breathing on me. There's footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. If you do try to play games with it, that's inviting it in. Jeez, this looks like something bit you. Me. You cannot run from this. It will follow you. I'm in control. You're not in control. What's happening to me? This thing left a message. If it's not a ghost, what is it? Ready? Okay. Hi, I'm Angela Vidal. We're in Los Angeles, traveling along with the fire department. Is that so bad? These are the men you'll be shadowing tonight. Wherever they go, you go too. Police are here. I might be a little more serious than we thought. A woman was screaming bloody murder back there. Fire department's about to begin the rescue process. Police say that she lives alone. She's not very sober. Okay, okay. We're gonna get you some medical help, okay? <laughs> trouble with an attitude to boot in Robert Rodriguez Planet Terror Whoa Mom Dad you gotta come see the boathouse is all bashed you just gotta come come on Whoa having spoken the doomsayer departs <laughs> why don't you get Billy dressed I'll take him into town with him Hit the store before it gets all bought out. How'd you folks hold up in the store? Big insurance day. Sorry to hear that. What's going on? It's death. Something in the mist! Shut the doors! Shut the doors! The only way we're gonna help ourselves is to seek rescue. Tie this around your waist? Or four. It'll let us know you got at least 300 feet. There's nothing out there. Nothing in the midst. What if you're wrong? Then I guess the joke would be on me. It is time. 
time to take sides. Read the good book. It calls for blood. Guys, I hear something. Are those bugs? Not like any I've ever seen. The entire front of this store is plain glass. They wanted to try and make a window. Well, maybe your window turned out to be a door. Ah! Who she's gonna sacrifice to make it all better? We want the board. You try it. Kill him! The baby was down when I got here, and the four-year-old conked out as soon as I read to him. Okay. Hang on. Some people are doorways. What are you doing, Maddie? You have to go. Ah! He wants to be born now. Case, okay. something wrong with your eye. What are you talking about? One iris is a different color than the other, which happens occasionally when you're dealing with twins. I'm an only child. Hey, you all right? Am I a twin, Dad? He died while the two of you were still in utero. Your mother never told you, but I knew. <laughs> By living, you denied it entry into our world. someone who's never even born. What's happening to me is real. Get out of here! Go! It's not safe to be around me. How do I stop it? And this is the video record of the attempted exorcism of Casey Belden. You sure you want to go through with this? Sometimes the world of the dead gets mixed up with the world of the living. As you can see, the housework has been rather neglected since the servants disappeared almost a week ago. Do you mean they just vanished? Into thin air. How do you do, children? I'm your new nanny. Are you going to leave us too? Why should I leave you? The others said they wouldn't. They did, and then it happened. Why have you opened the curtains? It was Victor. You told your brother that there was someone else in the room. There was. That'll do, Anne. I've seen them too. Have? Sooner or later, she'll see them. And then everything will be different. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
daughter. Honey, sometimes when you go to sleep, you go on a little walk. And sometimes you talk about a place. I don't remember. That's why we're going to go there. So you can remember. I need your help. I'm not okay. Please, hurry. The fire started 30 years ago. Dad! I don't know what's happening. Do you know what's going on here? This place is completely cut off. Only the dark one opens and closes the door to Sad and Hill. Hey! Where is she? I'm trying to find my wife. She looks exactly like Sharon. Why? Rose, come on! Rose, hurry! It's coming! What's happening? Oh! Sharon! To find your daughter, you must face the darkness of hell. It's okay, baby. Mommy's coming. Ah! Mr. Jax, I was wondering if you've made any decision regarding the assistant manager's position. It's between Stu and yourself. Stu Rubin, the new guy? Stu's someone who's not afraid to make the tough decisions. I'm perfectly capable of making the tough decisions. I'll let you know as soon as I decide, okay? Will you help me? Please. Okay. We have an elderly woman asking for an extension on her mortgage payment. We would have to throw her out of her house. We've already granted her two extensions. It's a tough decision. Your call. Another extension is out of the question. Where will I live? I'm really sorry. Never have I begged for anything. But now, I Mrs. humble myself Mrs. before Gennett, you. Please. I beg you. Please let go. Please let go. Security! Soon it will be you who comes begging to me. Someone has cursed you. He's the Lamia, the most feared of all demons. For the first three days, the spirit torments its victims. After that, it will come to take you. Take me where? To burn in hell for eternity. It's coming for me. Please listen to me. There is nothing coming for you. How do I get rid of this? I welcome you. You can give the curse away. 